does, it's with a dance number here. I'm gonna help you use the POC V5 PS Vita USB streaming plugin, um, as I promised in my last video. So, first thing you wanna do is go to the Reddit link, download the plugin, you just click that, hit download. It'll download. I've already got it downloaded once, so I'm not gonna use the copied file. Then you're going to go to your PS Vita. Make sure you go into it. And this is right from the start. So we're gonna fire up H Encore. So that's the extremely rare one in like 10 trillion chance where H Encore doesn't work. So we're gonna, we're gonna do it again. Um, from what I understand, the, the hack has like a small six fail rate. That's fine though, you just restart it. Install, success. Then we go up to exit. All right, so we got H Encore loaded. We're gonna go to Vita Shell. Start it. And press Start button. Make sure you've got FTP on your Select button. Hit Select. You've got your server IP now. Back on your computer, you're gonna open up FileZilla or whatever FTP client you prefer. I just like F. FileZilla, I've been using it for a long time, so I'm used to it. And you enter in your IP, so in my case, it's gonna be 172.16.1.72, and the port of 1337. Hit connect. And you'll go into your UR0 folder, into the tie folder. Then you'll want to get your downloaded file, your UDCD underscore UBC dot SKPRX file. And you're going to put that in your TIE folder. So you can see it's in there now. And then you're going to edit your config. And in the kernel line, you're going to add the line from the Reddit post here, which is right here, this line that I'm highlighting. Just copy that, paste it in there, save the file, close the file, back to my FTP client, and it'll ask if I want to upload the changed file, I'll hit yes. And so now the uploaded config is there, and the plugin is there. Back to the PS Vita now, hit cancel. And we're just going to reboot the console. So that'll take a, a short moment here. Okay, console's back up. Back into H Encore. We're gonna fire up the exploit again. And it's failed again. That's incredible. Um, I've never had this happen even once before, so the fact that it's happened twice in one video is actually incredible, but I guess this is a good way for you guys to see what happens when it fails. You can confidently just try again, and it's no problem. So. We'll install Hunkaku, exit out. And so now the plugin should be loaded. We've got it in the correct spot. We've got it set up to load. So we're gonna plug in our USB cable. Cable's plugged in now. And back on our PC, you're gonna open up OBS Studio. I use OBS Studio 64, it's on there. 
and you're going to add a scene. I've got a few scenes on here already, but we'll just add a new one, a fresh one. Maybe we'll delete this one first because I might have used it for my Vita already. So, uh, to add a new one, you hit the plus button in the sources section. And you're going to go video capture device. You can name this whatever you want. I'll call it uh, Vita 1. You just name it whatever you feel like. Hit OK. Turns the device to PS Vita. And you can see the preview there. Hit OK. Grab the anchor. Drag it all the way out to the side. So you've got your full screen. Then finally, right click. Hit full screen projector. Which is display zero. Or whichever display you prefer. Whatever monitor you prefer. And there you go. You've got your full screen. You can see the latency is almost nothing. And then finally, if you wish to have audio, um, you will require an auxiliary uh, powered speaker for this. Take your aux cable from your speaker, plug it into your PS Vita. And then turn your speaker on. And you have audio as well, so now you can enjoy your PlayStation Vita games on your computer monitor. And if you hook your computer up via HDMI to your TV, you can actually play your PS Vita on your TV with the audio and everything, um, as long as you have some speakers. Alright, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe. Um, I normally don't do Vita videos like this, it's mostly Overwatch content. Um, but. If you did enjoy it, feel free to swing on by some later time. Thanks. Bye.